Parents, welcome to How to Teach Your Kids Antonyms. An antonym is a word that means the opposite of another word. Opened is the opposite of closed. Inside is the opposite of outside. And hot is the opposite of cold. Now have kids look at our first example of opposites, opened and closed. The door was opened. The door was closed. Now have kids circle the pictures that are the opposite, the antonym of closed. So they want to circle everything that is opened. The pictures that show something opened are the refrigerator, the purse, the eye, the dishwasher, and the suitcase. Now have kids look at the second example. Inside is the opposite of outside. The dog is inside, then the dog is outside. Now have kids circle the pictures that are the opposite, the antonym of inside. So kids are looking for everything that is outside. The pictures that show something outside are the girl watering the flowers, the farm, the dog outside the doghouse, and the people camping. Now have kids look at our third example of opposites, hot and cold. Hot chocolate is hot and lemonade is cold. Now have kids circle the pictures that are the opposite, the antonym of hot. So they are looking for things that are cold. The pictures that show things that are cold are ice cream, lemonade, a fan, and ice cubes. Now have kids look at the word bank and with them read their choices. Opened, closed, inside, outside, hot, cold, full, and empty. And have them complete each sentence with the correct word in the word bank. The answers are the door was opened, the door was closed, the dog is inside, the dog is outside. And to the next column, hot chocolate is hot, lemonade is cold, the pail is full, the pail is empty. Now introduce some more antonyms to kids. We have fast is the opposite of slow, up is the opposite of down, and on is the opposite of off. Now have kids read the sentences for the antonyms fast and slow. A jaguar is fast. A turtle is slow. Now have kids circle the pictures that are the opposite, the antonym of fast. So kids are looking for all the pictures that show something slow. The pictures that show something slow are a turtle, a snail, a tractor, and a stroller. Now have kids read the sentences for the antonyms up and down. He went up the steps. He went down the slide. 
Now have kids circle the pictures that are the opposite, the antonym of down. So they are going to circle the pictures that show something up. The pictures that show something up are the boy climbing the steps, the steam rising above the pot, the helicopter up in the sky, the koala bear up on the branch, and the painter climbing up the steps. Now have kids read the sentences for the antonyms on and off. They were on the ride. They were off the ride. Have kids circle the pictures that are the opposite, the antonym of off. So they are looking for pictures that show something that is on. The pictures that show something is on are the bird on a branch, the cat on the rug, the kids on the field, and the towel on the towel rack. Now have kids read the words in the word bank, fast, slow, all, none, on, off, up, down. Have them choose the correct word from the word bank to complete each sentence. This is the completed example. Now have kids color the words that are the opposites. Explain to kids that in each row there are three words. In this example, we have up, out, and down. Kids are to decide which two words are antonyms, and then they are to color those words in. In our example, the first word colored in is up, and the second word colored in is down. Out is not an antonym so it is not colored in. This is a completed example. The sets of antonyms are up, down, slow, fast, hot, cold, opened, closed, all, none, and inside, outside. Kids love to do crossword puzzles and they're a great way to practice antonyms. So we're going to have them complete this opposite crossword puzzle. One down, the opposite of fast is slow. Two down, the opposite of full is empty. Three down, the opposite of hot is cold. And four down, the opposite of outside is inside. Now five across. The opposite of closed is opened. Six across. The opposite of up is down. And seven across. The opposite of all is none. And this is a completed example. Have kids color the notebooks that list antonyms. Remind kids that antonyms are opposite words. The first one is done for them. The notebook that has the words slow and fast is colored in because they are antonyms. Yes, this notebook is colored in because as we said, slow and fast are antonyms. They mean opposite things, as in the sentences, the turtle is slow, the jaguar is fast. No, the notebook is not colored in because these words are not antonyms. They mean the same thing, as in the sentences, the boat is under the bridge 
and the boat is below the bridge. No, the notebook is not colored in because the words over and above are not antonyms. They mean the same thing as in the sentences, the bus is over the water, the bus is above the water. Yes, the notebook is colored in because the words empty and full are antonyms. They mean opposite things, as in the sentences, this pail is empty, this pail is full. Yes, this notebook is colored in because the words hot and cold are antonyms. They mean opposite things, as in the sentences, hot chocolate is hot, lemonade is cold. Yes, the notebook is colored in because the words on and off are antonyms. They mean opposite things, as in the sentences, they were on the roller coaster, they were off the roller coaster. Yes, the notebook was colored in because the words dirty and clean are antonyms and mean opposite things, as in the sentences, the clothes are dirty, the clothes are clean. Yes, the notebook was colored because the words opened and closed are antonyms. They mean opposite things, as in the sentences, the door was opened, the door was closed. No, the notebook was not colored in because the words placed and put are not antonyms. They mean the same thing as in the sentences, he placed the dishes in the dishwasher and he put the dishes in the dishwasher. Yes, the notebook was colored in because the words asleep and awake are antonyms. They mean opposite things, as in the sentences, the cat was asleep, the cat was awake. And this is the completed example. Now have kids choose an antonym to replace the underlined word in each sentence. The words they can choose from are go, left, outside, awake, happy, clean, odd, closed. So in the first one, the dog is inside the house. They have to look for the antonym of inside, and that would be outside. This is a completed example, and the answers going down in the first column are outside, awake, closed, odd, and in the second column, go, left, happy, and clean. In this student practice page, have kids choose an antonym to complete each sentence. These are new words, caught, heavy, sweet, soft, student, and shy. So kids will probably need some help. The first one is done for them. Lemons are sour and cake is sweet. And this is a completed example. In the first column, the words are sweet, soft, and shy. And in the second column, the words are student, heavy, and caught. Now have kids draw a line from the pictures to the correct antonyms. And this is a completed example. This is a great chart to print out for your kids to use as a resource. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. And as always, I will leave a link in the description section to download all the teaching templates in this video.